Am I the asshole for refusing to let my son have my daughter's necklace? My late wife passed away six years ago. I have two kids, Adam, 17, and Leah, 15. Their mom inherited a necklace from her mother. Her mother inherited it from her mother. It's a tradition in the family to pass this necklace down to the daughters. My late wife gave me the necklace to keep and then give to Leah when she's legally an adult. No one knew about this except my current wife. Well, she told Adam about it and he barged into my office the other day asking what his mom left for him. I was confused I asked what's wrong and he brought up the necklace. I explained the sentiment behind it and told him I'm planning on giving it to his sister before she moves out for college. He demanded to have the necklace since E2 is our child but I said it was gifted to his sister specifically not him. He went on about favoritism and whatnot but I told him it's a tradition that involves only the daughters in the family. I told him it's his mom's wish and he should be respectful of it especially, when he has a ton of her stuff. He got enraged and called me and his mom sexist asshole for agreeing on, let alone carrying on with this, sexist bullshit. I said I was done arguing and he went upstairs and stayed in his room after yelling at his sister. He refused to eat or speak to neither me or Leah. My wife says I should give it to him to keep the peace but I declined. Not the asshole, but your current wife is. She literally is asking you not to do something your late wife asked you to do. Did you ask her why she told Adam? There are a few red flags for me here. 1. The sort of language your son is using hints at some association with mares, it's not sexism it's a family tradition. 2. Why does he want a necklace? What would he do with it? Give it to a girlfriend? Sell it? 3. Is your wife hoping to cause enough division that it's easier just to give it to her to avoid any favoritism? Without some background info on the family dynamic I'd say you got some manipulators in the family who need to be told in no uncertain terms that their efforts will not work. Not the asshole. But I would wonder the motives of your current wife. It really seems like she egged your son on. It seems weird. Am I the asshole for asking someone with an invisible disability to move seats? Myself, 28M, and my partner, 31F, were recently riding the underground. My partner is 8 months pregnant and looks heavily pregnant too. No one could mistake her for being any different. She's not particularly mobile either now and we've taken to riding the underground more, even for shorter journeys just to allow her to rest more frequently when we are out and about. We jumped on the circle line today and it was a particularly busy service during the rush hour with people packed in tightly and standing throughout the aisle. On trips like this I would look for one of the nearby priority seats reserved near the doors and would ask someone to vacate it to allow my partner to sit down. On all occasions up until now we have never had a problem. Those who were sat in the seats could see my partner would struggle to stand on a busy train and will give up the seat without hesitation. On this particular day, one of the seats is occupied by an elderly gentleman with a walking stick, probably mid-80s, and one by a younger man, probably mid-20s. I make what I think is my best judgment call and ask the younger man if he would give up the seat for my partner. He replies that he has autism and that his disability allows him to use a priority seat too. I do understand that people have less visible disabilities and that under normal circumstances, he should be allowed to use the priority seat. However, I also felt that despite this, it wasn't a physical impairment and he was more capable of standing than my partner who had been stood up for a long time and really needed to rest at this point. When I tried to explain this to him, he became very defensive and called me an asshole for not appreciating his needs too. Eventually, others began to overhear what was being said and someone else voluntarily offered up a normal seat. But the experience left me wondering if I was an asshole for insisting this person needed a priority seat less than my girlfriend. So, am I an asshole for asking someone with an invisible, non-physical disability to vacate a priority seat for my heavily pregnant partner? You are the asshole. Asking was fine. Arguing makes you the asshole. Unless you are that specific person's care provider and are 100% certain of their limitations, your opinion, observations mean shit. I have an invisible disability, and people like you are the bane of my existence. If your partner is that tired and unwell, get a cab, wait for a less busy train, whatever. You are the asshole. When I tried to explain this to him, not for underscore asking underscore. For this, carrot, carrot, carrot. Am I the asshole for taking a picture of my sister's husband's car outside of his workplace and sending to her? My F25 dad passed away days ago. 
My sister's husband M31 said he couldn't be present for the funeral because he had to go on a business trip out of town which made my sister more devastated. She's got so much on her plate. Pregnancy. My nephew and now dad's death. Brother-in-law is a great a workaholic and it's affected his social life, but he refuses to admit it. The day of the funeral. My boyfriend was the one driving us. We drove past my BIL's workplace at 8 p.m. and saw his car in the parking lot. I couldn't believe it I know his car will since he used to drive me to school with it sometime. I took a picture of it and sent it to my sister. My sister was losing it so my boyfriend suggested we bail. He dropped me off at my friend's house and later I found out that my sister found that her husband was in town the entire time but lied so he didn't have to skip work for the funeral. There was a huge blow up and he called me yelling saying I had no business, stalking him at his workplace and taking pictures of his vehicle. My family are mad at him but also at me because they said I stirred shit and caused my sister more sister now that she's arguing with brother-in-law about him purposely missing the funeral. My boyfriend said I did the right thing. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Brother-in-law was lying and got caught. Also, if he was supposedly out of town, where was he spending the nights? WHO was he spending the night with? Not the asshole. And I'm calling it now. He's cheating. Are you people high? Of course not the asshole. Is everyone forgetting not only is he lying but he's not there to support his wife during this difficult time when she needs him. He should be home not in so hotel pretending to be out of town. Not the asshole. Your brother-in-law lied and he was caught. Liars always end up getting caught anyway. He doesn't sound like a great brother-in-law anyway. I mean leaving his pregnant and grieving wife with a small child because he doesn't want to miss work? Is he trying to cure cancer? Am I the asshole for telling my siblings the real reason why my parents got divorced? I, 22M, have three other siblings, 18M, 15M, 12F. Our parents are no longer together because of my mom's, 42F, infidelity. She was seeing my best friend's dad. When my father found out he kicked her out, she ended moving with her AP and broke two marriages. This all happened six years ago and my siblings saw my dad as the bad guy who kicked their mother out. My 15M and 12F decided to live with my mom and dad only had them on weekends. My 18M stayed with us because he was closer to my dad already but he didn't know what caused our family to fall apart and also seemed to resent my dad. I visited my mom as often as I could and she seemed happy to have me but I was the only one who knew what happened. My dad never bad talked my mother and never let my siblings know why they split even if he had to be seen as the bad guy who kicked her out and my mom never took any responsibility of what she did to our family. They get along with Jeff, mom's husband. I did but lost a lot of respect for him when he went after my mom. My dad will get married to Rose this October 21st, my late grandma's birthday, and he told my siblings that he wished to have them with him. They started being so mean to him and basically shaming for getting married and accuse him of cheating because he started dating Rose a long ago. Even my 18M did. They really hate Rose. Cause she came into our lives like six months after my mom was kicked out. So I asked them to stop. My dad isn't confrontational so he told me to leave it like that. They started accusing Rose of being the reason my parents fell apart but I told them that the reason was my mom's infidelity. Their faces turned red and asked me if I was joking but I said no. They got back to my mom's house and two days later they were back asking to stay with my dad full time. Apparently they confronted her and her husband about what happened. I called my mom to see if everything is okay but she didn't answer. I went to her house and she was distant. We didn't talk much about it. Her husband texted me later to call me the asshole for telling my siblings about my mom's affair and they seem to hate her now. I know, it's hard for my mom now because she loves us but my dad shouldn't be seen as the evil person and she has the great flawless parents, plus Rose shouldn't be seen as a homewrecker when my mom is. Am I the asshole for letting them know? Not the asshole. Your mom and her affair partner have been lying to your siblings for years. They deserve the consequences of, 1, their affair and, 2, their subsequent lies over years. 3. Nor defending your dad or Rose. If they had wanted to keep the status quo and keep their betrayal and dishonesty a secret, they should have made an effort to welcome Rose and try to discourage your siblings from vilifying Rose and your dad. Edit spelling. Not the asshole. The truth would have come out eventually. Speaking from personal experience, sometimes it's better to get the truth out sooner rather than later. Not the asshole. You told them the truth. It wasn't your fault that your mother wasn't enough of a woman to do it herself. She had no issue when your siblings blamed your father for ruining the family even though he was the victim. 
Your mother is a very weak human being but cheaters usually are. <laughs>